Hey gang, so I saw this bracelet in a pop-up advert on somewhere on the interwebs, so used it as inspo. Uh, I'm using African apricot, I'm going to do two coats of that, and I am doing it on two nails because I'm going to do one like the bracelet, and then one that I just thought of, which is, <laughs> I think it's funny, it's, that's the, uh, that's the state of the um, sense of humour at the moment. So I'm doing some lines on here with... Blah, blah, blah. Why do I not prepare myself? Honeydew. Uh, I was going to... I did do the arms on one first, but where they came out from the sides, it sort of all just merged together. Um, so I did the lines first, the body of the cactus, and then that had a flash cure. It didn't actually. I'm lying. It had a half cure. And then I'll stick the arms on so that where they join the body, um, it didn't all bleed into each other. Popping his little arms on. And then adding some white triangles. I didn't realise that I had the picture of the bracelet on the device I was filming with. So I was kind of trying to remember what it looked like. It did actually turn out pretty similar, so... Um, well done memory. <laughs> uh, popping some more triangles on and then I faffed about for ages not not remembering what was in blue. Um, I think there's navy on the thing but um, and I tried dots, I tried wiggly lines and then I just got annoyed and thought I'm doing more triangles uh, and it was triangles so way. Uh, any kind of triangle you like we've got your isosceles, your equilateral, your is there one called obtuse? something like that uh, and then some more little lines which I do go um, I did go and make a bit neater before curing uh, and now I'm just doing some lines down the cactus just to sort of give it some highlights or whatever and that is with Turtle Beach and then as always didn't stop there <laughs> added some dots in the triangles trying not to make them like uniform at all and then that was cured and topped and I did float quite a thick layer of top coat on so obviously it's quite bumpy where we've got different layers so that is that one and look my fresh clean bit of paper is already mucky again so I'm now doing I thought I'd do the speech bubble first because then I could sort of be in charge of how much room I gave myself to write in um, if I did the cactus first I probably would have done it too big and then been like ah oh, shit I can't write that small in whatever gap was left so I'm using Alaska for this and I did do two coats of it. I faffed around with that for much longer than necessary. The reason the nail looks matte is because I did put it on the other side at first and wiped it. Um, so if you ever see a nail go into, you know, it's shiny, I cure it. And then for some reason it looks matte when I bring it out the lamp. That's because I've tried to do the next step and not liked it. So wiped it off and I'm doing it again. Doesn't always go right first time. So I painted on the cactus in, um, oh, I'm behind myself, in Honeydew. Uh, I did two coats of that and I'm now putting him in a little pot with cocoa berry. And then this one is, uh, I can't remember, um, but I will put it in the description. I did some sort of little shadingy bits. I didn't faff around with that too much. That was as much... Um, uh, time as I was willing to give a pot. Just adding some more lines with Turtle Beach again and I do wipe where I've gone onto the brown. I thought the first first three looked a bit hello so I decided to outline the whole thing and I've drawn that arm so that he's like touching himself. Well not, <laughs> not in that way. He does that off camera a little perv. Um, so cured that, gave him a face, which I think might be different in a sec because I did the face about four times. And now adding, ouch, because he's touched his head and he's a cactus, so it hurt. <laughs> That's the level of sophistication, the uh, the sophistication level of humour we're at um, on day 75,000 of lockdown. I outlined the speech bubble just to give it some more blue to tie in with the other one. This is some teeny tiny tinsel from Diamond Glitters. And I'm 
putting some base coat on, not a thick layer, not even a thin layer, just a really sparse layer. Look at him. Oh, he looks so distressed. Sorry, Colin, Colin the cactus. Um, and added some as needles, or are they called spines? I go with needles. Um, and just thought I'd do some sticking out the top and on the hand. Do they have hands? No. Paws? Definitely not. Um, and then I thought I'd do some in little crosses. So using two and just a little cross every so often over his um, body. That proved so much more fiddly than um, planned. The first one, that one there, I was like, yay, that looks good. Oh, and then I spent about, you know, a month and a half faffing around trying to get, pick up one individual one and then press it down on it. But the second I did that, it then moved to the other one. So um, I definitely, I persevered, but it was, it was fiddly. It would have looked fine just with a few scattered all over the place, but no, nope. she wanted crosses and she got cross doing it. I didn't actually, I'm quite surprised. I was quite content. <laughs> so I don't think I kept all of that on, um, on film. Uh, do you know what? I cut loads of this. So that just goes to show that even cutting out half of the faffing around with these tiny bits of tinsel, um, it still went on for ages. So that's him. And then I thought I'd tie it in with the other nail and just do one um, of the doodads from the other one. And then floated the top coat over him because, again, he was a little bit uh, bumpy. But um, And also to seal in those um, tinsels. And that's it. Don't know why I've done a cactus. I saw that bracelet and then thought... How funny would it be that he would hurt himself when he... Anyway, I thought it was funny. <laughs> I'm going insane. I hope you're not going insane. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for lots more videos. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.